Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I'm TechKid44734 TKS HD Season 4. All right, now today we got a really cool tutorial going on. Uh, this is going to help you change your uh, boot screen for Vista or XP. And if you're on Vista, it's also going to help change your logon screen, which is that little Windows flag with the circle that comes up before your actual login screen um, appears. So the program we're going to be using to do this is called TuneUp Utilities 2009 or 2010. It is a 30-day free trial that lets you customize Windows, helps speed up your computer, uh, helps keep your PC health up, uh, up to date, and also maintenances your computer for any, any problems. Um, believe it or not, the actual customization part of this program is only a subsidiary, is a subsidiary, sorry I can't speak today, um, it is only a sub part of it, but it was still included. Uh, it's called TuneUp Styler, it's included with TuneUp Utilities 2009 or 2010, and this is how you're going to get this program. You're going to open up your um, web browser, and you're going to type in the address bar tuneup.com. That's T U N E dash U P dot com slash download. And you're going to download the latest version that is TuneUp Utilities 2010. Uh, you're going to download that and install that. It's going to speed up your computer like crazy if you run this. And it's virus free. Uh, most of them you can find like this actually have viruses. Uh, but I had the guts to try this one, and believe it or not, it freaking works. So. Once you got that, you're going to usually start out with your start page, and you're just going to go down here to customize windows, and click on the tune-up styler. It has a similar interface to the control panel of Windows Vista. Okay, now what we're going to do here is with this tune-up styler, we're going to go to boot screen. Alright, so it's going to start out with just Windows default right here, which is your simple loading bar, boring as hell. So, we're going to change that. Alright, so, you're going to take your favorite image editing program. Uh, for this one, I'm going to make my own with Adobe Fireworks, of course, if you know me. And we're just going to wait for uh, Fireworks to start up here. This is a trial version, it's not the full version. I don't have enough money, obviously. Um, it's a pretty damn expensive program. <sighs> so, while we're waiting for Fireworks... I don't know what to do. Alright, looks like that came up fast enough. Uh, so I've already made this. I made a boot screen uh, myself in Adobe Fireworks. That's Windows Vista Tech Kid Show Edition. I just messed around with it. Uh, you can really do whatever you want. I can change the background of this um, to many different things. Uh, things. Um, but I'll just keep my original one like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to file, save as, and you're going to save it in your pictures folder as boot screen beta 1 or whatever you want to call it. Just call, call it something like boot screen. And save it as a .jpg file. Click save. And then go back to TuneUp Styler and hit create new under boot screen. Then you're going to open images. And you're going to find where you just saved your desktop background or your uh, boot screen. So mine would be right here. And then hit save boot screen. And then select it once. It should be imported now. Select it. And click use, or actually click install over here. And you'll have it ready to go. If you want to see what it's going to look like, you just click show large preview. And it's going to show you your final image. Now, to change your startup logo, you can go right here, and your default is going to be something like this. Okay, it's the Windows flag. Not necessarily our choice. Now, if you want something uh, animated, you can always use Camtasia Studio and make a .gif file, which is an animated. You can just put in a movie to Camtasia and save it to a GIF. It'll work perfect with this. Or you can go and do what I did and click Add and download startup logos from TuneUp Online. It's going to take you to the TuneUp website, and I picked one that I thought was going to be cool. So I picked this one right here, the force field. All you got to do is, down, is click it and click Open with TuneUp Styler Default. 
If it doesn't automatically open up with TuneUp Styler, just click Add, Load Startup Logo from a File, and then open up your downloads directory. Alright, so once you got that, you're going to go ahead and click Install on the one you want. And then you're pretty much finished. If you also want to change your logon screen, you are able to do that by simply uh, creating a new thing, a new uh, picture, just like we did before in uh, Adobe Fireworks. And then you'll get something that looks like this when you lock your computer. Hopefully this works. Get something like this. Okay, so I got Tech Kids Show Season 4, Fingerprint Authorized Secure Logon. And you can log in. So I'm going to use my fingerprint reader. There we go. And I am in. So, now, uh, that's it for this video, and I'm actually going to post a video response showing the complete boot process of my laptop to show that it actually does work without harming your computer. So, for Tech Kid Show Season 4, I'm Tech Kid 4473. Visit my website at www.techkidshow.com. Uh, you can visit the blogs at any times at tutorials techkidshow.com. I've got a couple different tutorials to, out there to help you build your own website, build chat rooms, everything. It's in beta, but it should be done by the end of November. So, thank you very much for walking once again. I'm TechKid4473. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll see you later with more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Hey guys, I'm TechKid4473. You probably just watched my boot screen tutorial. And this is to prove that it actually works. So here is the boot process of my laptop after the TuneUp Utilities styling uh, program. It should have taken effect. And here we go. Uh, remember, I still am dual booting with Windows 7. So I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and click Windows Vista here. Uh, boot Manager takes a while because I have a CD in the drive. Alright, here we go. So, got Windows 7, Vista, gonna go to Vista, and here, let me change this for you. There, probably see a little bit better. So, Vista, and there it is! Windows Vista Tech Kids Show Edition! Loading, and then the copyright of Tech Kids Show Enterprises and my website. And now let's see if the logon screen and the um, boot logo comes up. Okay, so turns it off real quick. And let's see what happens. There's the mouse. Alright, and there's our force field little orb. And there is our brand new logon screen. Tech Kid Show Season 4 Fingerprint Authorized Secure Logon. So I'm going to go ahead and log on here with the fingerprint reader. And we're back into good old Windows Vista. Alright, so once again, thank you for watching Tech Kid Show Season 4. You know I love all my subscribers, and if you like this video, and you act, this actually worked for you, please subscribe, because I got a lot more videos just like this one. I'll also be having a video that shows how I got this little different theme for my computer, and how you can make your computer look even more like Mac OS X, even though you don't want Mac OS X. Am I right? Alright, so, uh, I'll see you later. Um, visit my website at www.techkidshow.com. I'm sorry I do not have a very steady hand. <laughs> I'm very excited right now that this actually worked for once, and that I didn't have any problems in one of my videos. So, thanks for watching. I'm TechKid4473.